I just swear like the universe brought this job to me. I love how minty it smells. friends welcome back to another video if you're new here welcome my name is Addie so I'm not really sure what I have going on today it's Sunday I am going to pick up Nia at the airport I need to head out like in 30 minutes or so she lands at 10 15 picking up luggage and so then I should be there by like 10 30 thankfully the airport is only like 25 minutes from where we live like once you hop on the highway it's literally just like 20 minutes when we lived back in Oregon it would take us like 40 minutes, 45 minutes, sometimes an hour to get to the airport. So I do appreciate the airport being so close to us here. So this was my first week at my new job, you guys. And it's so great. Like, I feel like with this job, I really waited. Like, I was really patient because it was a really, really long process. But And I had other offers on the table, but I just knew that this one was the one for me and I waited and I waited and I got it and I started this week. So from the day that I interviewed to my start date, it was like, I'm not even kidding, like almost six to eight weeks, like six weeks I wanna say. It took a really long time, but I'm really, really happy. Everyone at work is just like so real, so transparent. I feel like they act how they act outside of work, like they're very open. And I don't know, the environment just feels really, really good. And I just feel like this is what I was meant to do here in Arizona because again, like I don't, it was just like, I just swear like the universe brought this job to me and I was meant for this job. Like the description and everything was so much of what I used to do at Holland when I was working um, with them. And in my last role at Holland, I did so much. Like my job just did not consist of just one thing. Like I was touching so many things and I was really working with the on-site team, um, construction and investments. And so I just feel like I am where I'm supposed to be at here in Arizona with my career. So like I said, this was my first week with them. And so today, this Sunday, Hold on, there's people passing out time. So for this Sunday, I just really want to do more of a reset. Um, I feel like over the last couple vlogs, I kind of have been resetting, but today I'm gonna put my sheets to wash, just do the rest of laundry. Don Danny was off um, like two days ago and he helped me out so much with just picking up and doing some of our laundry, but I just wanna tidy up. I do want a meal prep because last week I ate out every single day and it wasn't the healthiest thing for me to do. So I just wanna meal prep for Monday and Tuesday. I wanna meal prep my lunch. I'm thinking, you know, something not so hard to make, something very simple. I'm okay with like, you guys know I love eggs, so I'm okay with just taking like scrambled eggs every like the next two days for lunch. So I do just want to prep some lunch for the next two days and just get myself ready for the week. I did pretty good last week, but I could have done better. Um, I did realize that a lot of my shirts are like crop tops, so I'm going to go to like Ross and see if I can find some non-cropped tops whether they're long sleeve or like short sleeve just basics to get me through outfits um but yeah let me finish getting ready and then we're gonna get in the car and head out to get me out. i feel like i haven't used a hair mask in forever i did dye and touch up my hair and cut my hair a couple weeks ago i vlogged that all for you guys if you guys watched um, but I haven't put a hair mask in my hair in a while and yesterday I was watching Instagram and Myla was doing like a deep clean I think and she was putting in her hair mask and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't done that I need to do that. So what I have been doing is I'm using this Rosemary oil and I really really like it. I did see on TikTok that I think they came out with like a different one that's a little bit slightly different from this one and I heard people are not liking it because the formula changed but I do like this one that I'm using I think this is like the original one um, but I really like it I also use the gel 
So when I'm slicking my hair back, I do use this edge gel. I feel like this one over the go-to one is better because the go-to one just leaves your hair so like stiff and hard. Like I can just feel it. And this one, like it slicks everything back, but it doesn't feel hard. So that's why I like to use this one. Um, so when I'm slicking my hair back, I'll usually put in oil and put some gel. But I'm going to go in with this power mask today. I'm going to try it out. We got it as like a little test sample when we went into Cosmo to buy our hair products. So I'm gonna put this in and some hair oil and just kind of leave my hair like up in a messy button. I love how minty it smells. I just, I don't know, it smells so good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in with my hair mask. Uh, it's Joico. Um, Joico is a pretty good brand for my mom. I know it's, she thinks she likes Redken a little bit more these days. That's what we use for our hair shampoo. She put me on a really good hair shampoo and um, conditioner. And I've just been using that for like, it's been like, I don't know. I want to say like a year. No, not even a year less than that. It's been a little bit less than time. But I really like that shampoo and conditioner. I'll show you guys right now which one they are. I'm going to put some at my roots, which is more down here. <laughs> So I think this is what we're gonna rock with for the day. It's like messy, but it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put some laundry. I need to do our bed sheets. And I think when I get back from picking up me, I'm gonna focus on our bathroom and our room. Our room's pretty clean. I just need to put my clothes away that Danny washed and then I need to finish the bed and then come into the room and just kind of clean the room and reset the room or the bathroom. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and do laundry and then by that time I think we'll for sure need to head out to get Nia. We see ducks all the time around where we live. It's so cute. You girls see the duckies? Wolfie's like, what is that? Let's head out to Ross. I'm gonna see if I can just find like one or two basic tops. I'm looking for like black or white or even like beige. I just don't have shirts that are not crop tops and I feel like even when I'm wearing them with my high jeans or high-waisted pants, like you can just still kind of tell that they're crop top or just like any bend or anything like the shirt comes out, you know? So I hope I can just find something basic very quick. I don't want to spend too much time in there. I want to come back and clean our room and the bathroom. Okay. I'm going to show you guys what I got at Ross. I also stopped at Trader Joe's. Let me start with that. I stopped at Trader Joe's too to get a little plant and a card for my manager. He just got married on Friday. And so me and my coworker agreed that we'd get him a little plant, a card, and then she's going to get a gift card to the movie theaters since him and his partner like to watch movies. But I got this card. It's so cute. It says congrats and then has a passport to marriage. From the little that I've talked to him, they like to travel, so I thought it was just like perfect. And then in the inside, I'll show you guys. Then the inside says, wishing you many miles of love and adventure together. Look at that, it's so cute. That it was so cute and perfect. Um, and then I found this little tiny succulent plant, which I thought was also so cute. They could put it by like any sinks, kitchen, bathroom, or if he wants to keep it in the office whatever but that's what i got at trader joe's 
and then at ross i found this like really thin long black cardigan which goes like perfect um pretty much with anything and it's long so i could wear it with like jeans and make it look just a little more dressed up with like a belt maybe some jewelry but it's really really long um and it's just a cardigan it was 6.99 and then I also got a long sleeve, which is a little see-through, um, but it's like this cream, not even cream, it's like a white, gray, just plain long sleeve. The sleeves are a little like loose at the end, so they're not like tight. And it is very see-through, but I think I'm just gonna put like a white tee underneath so that you can't see like my bra and skin and stuff. Um, and this one I think was $5.99. Yep, $5.99. So I guess the shopping gods were with me today because I feel like both things were really, really, really cheap. So I should have been more prepared so that I could have stopped at Fry's or Aldi's on my way back home to just get what I need to breakfast and lunch prep for tomorrow and Tuesday. Um, but I'm gonna go home. We are going to clean the room, clean the bathroom, wrap up laundry, and then closer to the evening, I'll do a run to Fry's or Aldi's and then I will prep my food for the next two days. So this is what our room looks like right now, the girlies. It could use a little TLC. And so can our bathroom. So let's go ahead and do the wraps. the day here because look how pretty this back looks Isn't that? that pretty spot of pink skies <laughs> and this is for Tuesday or make my egg tomorrow but I'm gonna take some sauce to go so it's a little moist 